So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this neat and this professional contract in Adobe Illustrator for your graphic design career. But quickly before the contract tutorial, I want to show you PDF Element Pro by iSkysoft just for two quick minutes. So I'm going to open up the contracts that we're going to design later in today's video and show you some quick functions of this PDF editing software. Now the really cool thing about PDF Element Pro that you can edit the text on your PDF documents and it's really simple to do by just using the text tool. Also, however, you can add new text into a PDF document. But a really cool feature that I love is adding an image onto your PDF documents. And you can add a signature PNG file as an example. And this is a quick and an easy way to digitally sign your contracts with PDF Element Pro. PDF Element Pro is really useful and a really professional tool for editing and making alterations to your PDF documents. We can multi-select text boxes and then change the font, the size, the color and so forth. So finally, you can actually use a built-in digital signature within PDF Element Pro. Now if you come up to the markup option here on the left, you can then choose the email signature icon at the very bottom. You then can control the color of the signature as well as the thickness of the lines being used. You simply just draw out your signature and then place it onto the document itself. And this is a really neat and a really simple way to sign a document digitally speaking. So let's go ahead and design the contract that we're going to hand out to our clients in our graphic design career. Now we're going to be working in Adobe Illustrator today and of course we need a new document and I'm going to make an A4 print document for the contract design. Now A4 is a pretty standard measurement for this kind of document and we're going to make sure the document is portrait and we're going to use two artboards and of course we need a bleed as well which will ensure a perfect print job on the contract design. Three millimeters is okay but I'm personally going to go for five for this A4 size document. And of course, we need CMYK color and also a 300 PPI resolution. So we have the double sided document. One side is going to be the back of the contract and the other side is going to have the actual information content. And one thing we do need to do is we need to lay down a background which is going to lay over to the bleeds on a document. So press M for the rectangle tool and make sure you have white selected in the color palette. So carefully click and drag the rectangle tool over the entire artboard right up to the bleeds. And then when you're ready, press V for the selection tool, hold down the Alt or the Option key and then click and drag to duplicate it over. And just a quick tip, you can hold down Shift whilst you're doing this to make sure it stays perfectly in line with the original one. And when you have your two backgrounds, select both of them and then press Command or Control 2 to lock them down in place. If you haven't got the rulers open, press Command or Control R and then drag a guide onto your artboard. These guides are going to help you keep the text content away from the print edge in a neat and orderly manner. And you can adjust the measurements of the rulers by right or control clicking them. And I'm using millimeters here and I'm actually going to use 20 millimeters or two centimeters for my margins. So we're nearly ready to actually make the neat and the really awesome contract design. But first we need to move the artboard so they're not too close together and so the graphics are not going to interfere with each other. You could use the artboard tool here, but also you can come into the artboard preference settings and adjust the literal position of the artboard with complete precise accuracy. You of course are going to need to unlock your backgrounds before you do this and you can do that by going up to object and unlock everything. And I just realized that for the back of the contract we don't need the guides because there's going to be no real text content here. 
This is where the graphics are going to be and it's going to be the back side of the contract. I'm going to make a quick colour scheme and you can use swatches for this. But I prefer to make some squares and use a base sample colour and then utilise Adobe Illustrator's colour guide as you can see here. There really are a myriad of options open to you in this colour guide so I do suggest that you do make use of it. So now we're ready to make the actual graphics for the design of the contract and so press M for the rectangle tool and make a rectangle or a shape like you can see here. We can use the eyedropper tool to sample the colours which is I on your keyboard and then rotate the shape like so while holding down shift so you can fix it to a 45 degree angle. Every component of my design on this back space here is going to be set at 45 degrees. When you have your first shape set down in place, then use the Alt or the Option key to click and duplicate once more. You can then adjust the size and also the layout of this shape. But also, of course, you can use the colours off to the side here. And also a really, really neat and handy function that we're going to make use of is the transparency window. We can actually change the blend modes here to, say, for example, overlay. Building up your design in this way using different shapes, different colours and also different blend modes is really going to create an interesting and a very neat and tidy design. Just get creative and just use these methods to build up the backside of the contract. So as you guys can see here, I've got a quite an interesting design that I'm pretty happy with to be honest. And what I can do is I can actually select everything and then use the Alt or the Option key to duplicate it over to the front side of the contract. When it's in position, take the rectangle tool once more and then create a small shape at the very top that's going to be the header of your contract design. You then select everything and then right or control click and then create a clipping mask. You can also do this by coming up to Object and Create Clipper Mask. And as you can see, there's a really neat header on the contract that I'm really happy with. But you can take the Group Selection tool, which is found in the top left of the toolbar, and then you can actually move around the individual shapes whilst they're in a clipping mask. And we can repeat the same process on the back side by covering a rectangle over the entire artboard. This is just keeping things really neat and then you can see how the final outcome is going to look. So finally, we're ready to add some text. And I'm not going to go over the text content and what it means in today's video, because I did make a contract video a few months ago on my channel. And I went through over the key components that you need to add into your contract. But as an offering for you guys today, this very contract is linked down below for you to download. Remember you want to keep the text content up to the margins and using a text box means that you can adjust the size and the text will be automatically spread up to the edge of the text box. You can also change the paragraph settings if that's to your liking, but I'm personally not going to go with that today. So now it's just a case of going up to file, save as, and then save your document as a PDF. Make sure to use the most recent version of Acrobat and then just go ahead and print it out. So yeah, today's video was sponsored by PDF Element Pro by iSkySoft and you can check out the website linked down below where they do actually have giveaways and freebies on their website that you can utilize. And of course also you have the download option as a free trial as well. 
Let me know what you thought of today's video and of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already if you want to keep boosting your skills as a graphic designer. Until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.